Oh, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? How you feeling? Are you warm? Cold. You cold? Cold out there. Hi. You know what? Okay, everybody, it's warm up time. Before you get on to the super exciting, powerful hard times with small holds, we need to do a warm up. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Somewhere in the world, friends will arrive at the gym see a brand new project and start to climb it without properly warming up. Next thing you know, disaster strikes. Someone gets injured. Remember, friends don't let friends climb without warming up. We need to do a warm up. There are three stages to this warm up that I want you to do. Stage one, you do some cardio. Stage two, you do a bit of dynamic stretching. And stage three, we do some easy climbing. Three reasons to do this warm up. One, you're less likely to get injured. You're warm, you've got blood flow going, you're nice and limber. Less likely to get injured is a pretty good reason on its own. Reason number two, you'll feel fitter and stronger and you will climb harder for longer. Reason number three, you will climb better because you get to practice some cool stuff while you're warming up. So, three good reasons to do the warm up. Let's get into it. Cardio time, that's stage one. Don't really mind what you do, but rule is you need to be out of breath and warm and have blood flow going to your extremities. So if you've cycled to the center, you're probably done, that's fine. If you run because you're late or you're excited about climbing, cool, that's fine, you're done. But if you've walked here and it's a cold day, you need to do a bit of warming up first. So I don't really mind what you do, you can just run on the spot. I've got a specific one that I'll do, which is one minute of cardio. You do 15 seconds, running back and forth on the spot. 15 seconds, jumping back and forth and then 15 seconds of hopping on either foot and a final 15 seconds of, well, I can't do handstands, so I spend 15 seconds trying to practice handstands and I get a little bit better at them because I get a little bit of time to practice every day. You might find that that one minute on, your, on its own just wipes you out and you're done and you, can do, you don't have to do any more warming up. If you're not that fit, cool, you don't have to do much cardio to get out of breath, so it works nicely. If you are quite fit, you might have to do that one minute warm up a few times before you're feeling like you've got some blood flow. Going. Stage two, after you've done your cardio and you've got nice and warm, then we do some dynamic stretching. Not static stretching where we hold positions, that's great to do after climbing, once you're nice and warm and you want to improve your flexibility. But before you climb, we should do dynamic stretching. So we basically just wiggle all our joints around. I've got a nice straightforward one where I start with my toes and I just work all the way up. Each joint, I'll do five, slow, if, if it's fingers or toes, I do crunches, anything else I do circles. So five, nice and slow, where I focus on full range of movement, maybe it's circles like this, and then five quick, which can sometimes be a bit of a coordination challenge. Um, you might find it tricky to do quick, big circles with your ankles, but you can improve it while you practice it. So I start with the toes, and I do five slow crunches, and then five quick, and then five extensions, slowly, and then quick, and then I work up through ankles, knees, Leg circles, hip circles, very sexy. I do some shoulder shrugs, big arm circles, and then working down through elbows, wrists, fingers, extending as well. And then lastly, I do some very slow head turns side to side, and up and down. Don't do the head turns fast. Just keep them slow. It'd be dangerous shaking the head around really quick. When you do your dynamic stretching, spend about five minutes just slowly mobilizing all your joints. I would try and include every joint if possible. A nice easy way to structure it is start at the bottom and just work upwards. Make sure you include everything. So last one, stage three. You've done cardio, you've done your dynamic stretching. Now it's time to put shoes on and go do a bit of climbing. Don't get straight onto the hardest times you can do though. Start with the easy ones and slowly work your way up. I do 10 of the easiest times in the center, the intro, so like below V0 grade. Then I'll do five slightly harder ones. I think best time to practice skills that I want to be better at later would be during the easy climbs when I'm warming up. I've got to do the easy climbs anyway, instead of just mindlessly churning through and waiting for my hands to get warm, which is the main purpose of doing the easy climbs first. I can put some focus into doing some specific practice and improve my climbing at the same time. So, hot tip from Louis, climb the easiest climbs just focusing on your footwork. Climb the slightly harder ones just experimenting with different techniques to try and widen your vocabulary of techniques that you might be able to use when you're under pressure on the hard times. Good luck everybody. I'm kind of warm. <laughs> Are you feeling warm now? I'm pretty warm, yeah. Get in there, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have a bit more coffee and then we'll get to it.
what 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 is this right now is this lab climb okay uh, is there a grade to this lab climb uh, what? is there a grade to it what is it okay. uh, fine, maybe? v0 slash v5 ungradable watching the video make sure you send this to a friend who always skips warming up and be sure to subscribe below it's only episode two and we've got a lot more coming your way so we'll see you next week bye